Buenos días a todos. ¿Cómo están? Bienvenidos a mi canal de nuevo. Uh, muy, good morning, everybody. Uh, welcome to my channel. Um, today, uh, my son called me and he said he's going to come over. So he loves, there's a dish in Mexico that is called chilaquiles. And he loves it, so I'm going to um, cook it for him. And um, I want to show you my recipe. Uh, buenos días a todos, ¿cómo están? Bienvenidos a mi canal. Y pues mire, el día de ahora les voy a enseñar a uh, cómo yo cocino los uh, chilaquiles. Muchas personas ya ve que el, los famosos chilaquiles. Esta es la manera que yo los cocino. Pues si les gusta la receta, se los voy a compartir para que ustedes la preparen. If you like my recipe, this is how I do it. Um, it's simple. The only... Um, a little bit, you know, takes a little bit of time. It's to, um, for you to cook the tortilla, to um, put it in oil, to fry the tortilla. That's the only time, but, and I, I do it from scratch. I don't buy those chips at the store, no. I do it from the tortilla and I fry it. El tiempo nomás que se lleva es para freír la la tortilla, yo uso tortilla, yo no compro los chips ya dorados, yo doro mi tortilla. So, estos son los ingredientes que yo uso. Um, these are the ingredients that I use. Okay, I use three ro Roma tomatoes. These are from my garden, my backyard. Uso tres jitomates Roma. Una cebolla, bien, si quieren blanca, amarilla, yo tenía esta, pues usé esta. Um, esta cantidad de ajos, que son como tres ajos grandes, no más que como yo compré ajos chiquitos, me salieron muy chiquitos y pues esta es la cantidad que yo voy a ponerle. Una cucharada de consomé de pollo, una cucharada de consomé y um, sal al gusto y cuatro huevos y claro el queso fresco, del yo uso el mexicano fresco. Okay, no uso mozzarella, nada de eso. Sorry, I'm trying to... Estoy firmando con una, uh, con una mano y con la otra les estoy explicando. I use Mexican cheese. I use four eggs. Uh, one um, tablespoon of the chicken bouillon. This what kind. And salt on your own taste. Okay. I use like maybe half tablespoon but you could taste you know if it needs more you could put a little bit more and I use three um, of the Roma tomatoes these are from my backyard I use one onion you could use the yellow or the white one and I use this um, my my uh, garlic was so um, they were so small so it's about three of the huge ones so this is these are small and I do use a lot of garlic. It gives it a good flavor. But if you don't like a lot of garlic, you can use the ones you want. And um, and these are the type of chilies that I use. So this is the this is the name. This is the California. And I use the guajillo. I use both of them. Uso el guajillo y uso el California. So it's the the two ounces, you know, the packages. And for this um, this size, I did use the two packages. It's about 20 chilies. It's about 10 chilies in, it, in each um, bag. Uso yo con un paquete de, de California y un paquete de guajillo, que son como 20 chiles. So los desveno y los pongo a cocer y... Ya los pongo en la licuadora. So what you have to do when you get your chilies, you have to take off the, all the seeds and you put them in a pot with water and you boil it. So it can let it can get um, soft and it will be, you know, it will get soft. And then yo le pongo unos chiles de árbol. Puedes ver ahí chiles de árbol. And then I use some of um, hot chilies. It's your own flavor if you want to put some. If not, I did use um, my hot peppers. It's uh, called Chile de Arbol. They come in a package. 
like this. Así vienen los chiles de árbol. Yo lo he hecho unos 20. I put about 20 of them in here. They're very small, so. But they are hot, so. This is, if you want to use that, you can use it. If not, you can leave it out. And, um, and these are the tortillas. I already fried them, as you see. And the tortillas that I, they're small. They're not big tortillas. So these are, they came about a hundred in this bag, in this package. So I used, uh, I think it was about 30, 35 tortillas. That's what I fry. And this is the pot that I'm gonna use. And the reason I use, because when I cook, I do, I do, um, do enough. Um, there's uh, my husband, my daughter, and me, plus my son and his wife. So I always cook enough, even though it's a lot, you know. I always put it away, and we have leftovers for some other, during the week, for side dishes. It's a very good dish. Yo todo el tiempo uso esta cantidad, cocino esta cantidad, porque de nada sirve hacer chilaquiles con cuatro o cinco tortillas. Yo hago esa cantidad porque ya ve que los hago y quedan, pero ya se guardan en el refrigerador y durante la semana ya uno los puede seguir comiendo en cualquier otro platillo, ¿verdad? So, as you see, um, I already have the tortillas fried already. And then uh, what I do, my next step, turn on my pot. Put a, uh, I use a, just a little bit of the oil where I fry the tortillas. Um, I use another pot to fry it. So what I do, the next step, and then I'm doing some fried beans too. You could put it as a side dish as, you know, fried beans. These are my beans that are cooking right now. Aquí también yo los acompaño los chilaquiles con unos frijoles fritos. And um, I use the the grape extract um, oil, el aceite de uva, uso yo ese, no, no tiene tanto uh, grasa saturada. So after I turn on my pot, I just turn it on for a little bit, and then when it's heat up, I put my onion in there. So cuando prende la cazuela, dejen que poquito nomás se caliente, y ya yo le pongo la cebolla. You're going to put the onion. Put the onion in there. Okay. As the onion is sauteing, con ya que se esté friendo algo la, la cebolla, then you're gonna get your garlic. You're gonna put it in the, you're gonna blend everything together. Your salt and your, um, bouillon chicken bouillon and then you put some water and the water that I use I usually usually fill it up up to right there it's about what six cups until you see that the water gets all not all the way to the top but right there okay so let me get my cover Okay, doing everything with one hand, so stay with me. Estoy haciendo todo con una mano, so. Le ponen ya todos los ingredientes, lo que le ponen el, el ajo. No, I better not forget my, and the tomato. Y la, the tomato, it, it's raw. I don't cook it. I put it raw. So you put the tomato, ponen el jitomate, yo no lo cocino, yo lo pongo crudo. It's ponen todo en la licuadora para molerlo, okay? Everything goes to the blender. The only thing you're gonna fry is the, the onion, okay? So. Sorry for the noise. I let it blend real good.
and then when when you have when you put the onion just like for a minute, then you get to your tortilla chips and you pour it in there. And as you see, you're gonna see that it's like fill all the way to the top. But it's okay because what's gonna happen when you put the sauce, it's going to um, everything's gonna get softened and it's gonna come down, okay? So cuando le ponen las tortillas aquí, uh, junto con la cebolla, se va a subir hasta arriba, va a estar súper lleno, pero no se preocupen, ya cuando le pone uno el, el mole, este, todo se va a suavizar, ¿ok? ¿Ya? Lo menean, todo lo revuelvo. You mix it up, you know, okay. trying to do it with one hand. So after your mole is so blended real good, ya después de que esté bien molido el mole, uh, la, el, el, la salsita o el mole, como le llamen. Okay, now you get it. Lo agarran. And you pour it in there. Lo vacían. Como ven. Para que no se les vaya a quemar. And I get a little bit more of the water. Just a little bit. To get all the mole that it's in the, in the cup. Para sacar todo el mole que está en la licuadora. Okay. Yo ahorita le suben aquí. Uh, it smells so good. All this smells real good. So, what you're gonna do? You're gonna start mixing it up. Excuse me if I cough, cause. <coughs> Suavizando la tortilla. The tortilla is going to start. See how it starts softening? It's going to start soft. And all the mole, it's going to, all the flavors are going to blend into the tortilla. And, um, saborcito del mole se va a penetrar en la tortilla yo así lo hago esta es mi manera de hacer la, mis chilaquiles and what you could do at this point you could taste it taste the mole see if you like the flavor if you think it needs a little bit more of I'm going to put a little, just a little bit more of salt. Yo normal le pongo un poquito. You know, you can taste, just taste it and see if it's okay of salt. If not, you can just put a little bit more. It's better to... To need the song and not to overdo it, you know. But. And then after you mix it all up, what I do is I just cover it like for three minutes. It only needs like like three minutes, you know, so that it can soften it more. And then after you put this over here. While that, that's, you get your eggs and you mix it. Okay. It's 
so after how oh, good miren que buenos están saliendo se están viendo I'm frying beans at the same time <laughs> look at my beans I'm just letting it you know So then you get your eggs, agarra los huevos, and you pour it on top, all over. Lo vas en todo encima. Okay. And I like to use my eggs so it could come, it could um, combine it, it could grab it, you know. Me gusta poner el huevo porque todo lo acoge. And you just keep on mixing. If you if you don't like eggs, you don't want to put eggs, you don't have to do it. This is my way of doing in chilaquiles. This this dish is called chilaquiles. It's a Mexican dish. And this dish um apparently back of those um years back, people were so poor they didn't have, you know, um a lot of Food to eat, so they got the tortillas and they just make it into this sauce, and this is what this was their dish. So it was called chilaquiles, mix, mix in with chili, chilaquiles. Aparentemente este platillo lo hicieron en los tiempos se se preparó en los tiempos de la revolución. Ya ve que la gente era un poco más pobre y pues este era un platillo que ya con el chilito que inventaron allí ya, ya salía bueno y, y su quesito. And then, what you do after you, it's, it takes, when you put the mole, it, it only like maybe five minutes and it's done. So now you get the cheese. My hands are washed. Luego agarran el queso. It has to have cheese. Okay, let me do it small. And look, you just pour it on the top. Lo ponen encima. See? Lo ponen encima. Cada quien hace sus chilaquiles a su manera. Esta es mi manera. A mi familia les encanta. Y pues lo quise compartir. Ok. Así es como lo hacemos. So this is how it's done. This is the finish. So, then you cover it for a minute. Those are my chilaquiles. And they're already done. So after that, you turn it off, you cover it, and your chilaquiles are done. And let me taste them. So these are my Look at that. Estos son mis chilaquiles. Nice and moist. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Very good. Muy buenos. Ok, espero les haya gustado. Que les haya gustado. I hope you guys like this recipe. If you like it, subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be uploading more recipes <coughs> voy a seguir subiendo más videos de recetas gracias por <coughs> venir a ver mi receta y pues que tengan un bonito día y hasta la próxima have a nice day see you in the next video lula lu blog <coughs>